And now, another hodgepodge feature film. Hodgepodge, Volume 1, Issue 2. Hi, my name is Gail Marlene Schwartz, and I'm a member of the Hodgepodge Literature and Art Collective. I'm going to be reading an excerpt from my story called Regressive Supper. Living in Maine had just been a fantasy before. Now it was real. We signed in May, closed in August, and finished moving in October. Things were crazy at my job at the Puppet Factory, and Charisse was finishing up her online AI counseling program. The U-Haul place in Portland was only open six hours a week because of staffing shortages, so I borrowed my dad's hearse because it was the only vehicle we could find that was long enough to hold Charisse's columns. See, her grandparents were in the theater, and when they died, the barn full of props, sets, and costumes got divided between the four grandkids. Charisse had vision, even then. Once she has her private practice, the place will have Greek columns. Maybe the aesthetics will help her clients with decorating, something most AI find tricky for some reason. Our first winter in the frozen north came up on us pretty quick, beginning of November. I finished the new Pinocchio design, and Charisse aced her course on Siri and seasonal affective disorder. Suddenly, we had some time on our hands. There were still a bunch of boxes, but we were at least functional. I made us some fish sticks and tater tots, and Charisse went to find the candlesticks her mom gave us as a housewarming gift. I heard her rustling around in boxes, and I started getting impatient. I turned on the TV, and it was that episode of The X-Files where Fox Mulder eats all those pieces of pie. Then the doorbell rang. Charisse said she'd get it, and after she opened the door, I heard a woman's voice. So sorry we haven't been by before now. Charisse didn't say anything. She's shy. I got up and went to the door. No worries, I said, taking care of things. I'm Billy Baird, and this is my wife, Charisse. Charisse stood there staring. The woman was white, with shiny, intricate hair, the color of my great-aunt Laverne's fake nails. The lady reached her hand out. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Juanita Trump. No relation. She chuckled. We stared. The snow fell lightly, like we were in a commercial for peppermint hot chocolate. Wanted to let you good folks know about the progressive supper next month. It's a tradition we have to get us through these cold Maine winters. She didn't look cold, but she shivered dramatically. I smiled encouragingly. Cherise stared. Maybe she was having an aneurysm. I wondered if I should ask her to count backwards from 13. It's pretty simple. There's a five-course supper. Five families volunteer, and we move around one house per course. We'd love to see you there. I nodded. Do you need us to host? Oh, no, you're new. We'd ha be happy to have you as our guests. Should we bring something? In Berkeley, no self-respecting lesbian goes anywhere without a rice and bean casserole. Just yourselves. Juanita's voice sounded like a rooster. It echoed in our semi-empty living room, and I realized sheepishly that we should get an area rug before entertaining. The three of us looked at each other for a few more seconds before our visitor shared one last knowing grin and left. Charisse kept staring. What's wrong? I shook her by the shoulders. Maybe she was possessed. Maybe our house was haunted and the ghosts had flown into Charisse's body to escape Juanita's voice. That woman is our new professor for the Digital Oedipus and Contemporary Corporate America. She's going to be grading me, said Charisse. I guess we would be going to the Progressive Supper. <laughs>